Hey guys and welcome to EPW Destruct Lightning. Welcome to EPW Lightning. Um, so change of plans with a feud. Krufik Stunning, Zach Stunning, has joined, and we're in Germany. Um, has joined the Mafia, and with that, they're no. Um, William Jackson and him are no longer rivals. Um, so. We have a number one contenders battle royal match, um, but first we have Adrian Sarkozy making his debut against Aaron Nova. Now, this is um, going to be an interesting matchup. Adrian Sarkozy making his debut. Um, obviously, Finn, he, Finn Sarkozy making his debut as well later here tonight. Um, so some of these people will be doubling up in the Battle Royale. They will have their chance to go on and face the Ultraviolet Champion. Um, so obviously, you know, expect to see that one. But our main event for tonight is William Jackson versus Alexander Benjamin. Um, so expect that's going to be an interesting match to watch. Obviously, William Jackson, a part of the Mafia, and wanting to... Um, you know, prove um, that he's still the ultraviolet champion. He's the ultraviolet champion for a reason. And um, obviously, David Diaz in action. And we have new signings, um, which are Dean Phillips, the Phillips brothers, Dixon Phillips, Dean Phillips, and Bubba Phillips. So expect to see them um, in action in the coming weeks. Potentially tag team matches. But um, first up, first up, Aaron Nova. So what is there to say about Aaron Nova? Well, I mean, his name kind of says, or have you seen his time in like HCW and um, some of these other promotions? He's, he's a decent superstar. Um, so 225 pounds, Aaron Nova now won that rule. He'll want a point to prove here tonight. And obviously, we're picking up a win here, and then imagine obviously wanting to pick up battle royale, pick up a win in a battle royale, which would be straight after this. Um, and our partnership with Miami Vice Wrestling. So there will be a link in the description to their Instagram and probably their Twitch or whatever they stream or record on. Um, so we are now partnered with Miami Vice Wrestling. So um, there'll be a link to their Instagram in the description. I can guarantee you that one. So um, go follow them on Instagram. Go follow us on Instagram. The hottest, um, where you can see the hottest talent in this core community. Um, so. And Adrian Sarkozy. Here he is making his debut in EPW Extreme Pro Wrestling welcomes Sar Adrian Sarkozy now. Interesting star. Um, Adrian Sarkozy obviously wonder watching this matchup. Um, obviously. I think the older brother or brother anyway related to the prince Finn Sarkozy um so obviously part of the royal bloodline now this will be interesting to see King Glemlin obviously again so-called royal um so obviously what the what um Finn Sarkozy will have to say about that in the coming weeks will be interesting um And you can feel the we are underway. Running through this Lock up here, guys. Into the corner. One on one. Mano -mano. And Aaron Nova's got him in the corner. The referee getting in the middle of this, pushing them away. And the no bungees there as we get out of the thing and got his arm. Aaron Nova has got that arm in a tangle. Aaron Nova has got his arm tangled, sorry. And Adrian Sarkozy just... Working on that arm, trying to wear him down. But what is this? Getting, uh, getting Sarkozy's arm and pulling it back. 
What is this? Around, grabbing that leg. Down goes um, Nova. And spinning on that knee and landing that knee. What is this? A stomp to the underneath the arm. Now, um, Aaron Nova with a reversal, but Nova going chest first. What is this? A suplex? No. Yes. Suplex, one arm, suplex thing. Yeah. Um. What's going to happen? He's got him up the back here, and a stomp to the back, or knee to the back, sorry, not a stomp. Here's a kick to the midsection, going for a snap suplex. Getting away with that snap suplex there. Picking up Sarkozy here, but Sarkozy with a reversal. And going for a kick, and did he connect that? I think he did. He just must have just connected that. He's just picking him up. Just picking him up in the strength, around and into a power bomb. But a kick out, and Aaron Nova getting straight up. I guess you never know. What's this? Sarkozy with an Irish rip and a clothesline to the back, and a stomp to the midsection of stomp to the torso chest area, and a big uppercut. But Aaron Nova with a clothesline. He's starting to stumble here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. What is this? Round down. One. Just a one count. Stomp to the side of Sarkozy. And again with that kick. Connecting I think just underneath the jaw. Is what he was aiming for. He did connect underneath that jaw. But um. With a dragon screw, Nova brings Sarkozy down. And a kick to like the chest area, or a kick to the chest area, sorry. And a knee to the face. That may just have stunned Adrian. But no, a reversal. And again, with that kick connecting to the lower part of his face. Picking him up here and going for like a baseball kick. Soccer kick. Right to the knee. And again, a knee straight to the. just underneath his knee. When he's trying to go for the. will he go for the pin? Yes, he will. Will he get away with the window? One, two. You can see there at Miami underscore vice underscore wrestling. Make sure to follow them. Um, is this. Willie set him up around into that angle lock, into that leg lock. Will a will Aaron Nova tap and Aaron Nova taps with that angle lock? Did you see the way he just pulls on that leg? He's seen it before when Alvin Knight used it. Once you get that leg lock locked in, there is no escape. You can see there a power bomb there and a power bomb. And as you can see there, a soccer kick to the leg. And just the knee to the the shin rolling through and getting that leg locked in. As you can see, nowhere to go. And Nova had to tap out. So Adrian Sarkozy picks up his first victory here in EPW. But his night is not over. Neither is Aaron Nova's. Will that play a part here in this ma next match? Will that play a part? Um, so the Battle Royale, um, Tyler Harris, Adrian Sarkozy, Aaron Nova, King Lemlin, Zach Tyson, Francisco Johnson, Noxley, Noxley something. I know it was Noxley, um, and conspiracy all want their match want their shot against um william jackson all trying to earn their shot but only one can win will it be the debut the debuting let me get it let me double check his name um but um will it be conspiracy will it be zach tyson or will it be 
Um, Noxley hat take. Will it be Noxley hat take? On his debut here tonight. Imagine picking up a victory with Tyler Money, Tyler Harris, sorry, um, from Saban Wrestling. Um, obviously trained by Ricky Saban, obviously former EPW Cruiserweight. Um, former EPW Cruiserweight. But once he retired, obviously went on to train some people, as you can see. Um, he trained Tyler Harris, one of the first few we could see here in EPW. And here we are. Who will be our first entrance? You can see this crowd. Who will this be? Conspiracy, you can see emerging from the bat. And Conspiracy making his way to the ring. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 220 pounds. 220 pounds. Sarah C. So Conspiracy obviously we want to pick up a win here and losing his debut against Nathan Edwards. So we want to redeem himself and then after this got his match with Gene Yuri. Um, the Cruiserweight Champion will be in action, Junior Champion sorry. The Junior um, Champion will be in action here tonight um, against Conspiracy. So two matches in one night. Obviously, um, UFW Final Breath, um, I think he picked up a win there. Um, and then signing here in EPW. So, Conspiracy. Um, the Narrow Nova. Making his way to the ring. Once again. So, um, guys, um, no, I won't skip through them. Um, so, Aaron Nova. So, Aaron Nova. Making his way to the ring once again, obviously. Losing to Sarkozy, Adrian Sarkozy, picking up the victory in the last match. Um, and how will that leg play out later in this matchup? Um, obviously, I think he lost to Zach Tyson in the last battle where he had for a contendership. So obviously, we want to get back at Zach Tyson. No, sorry, Cody O'Ryan was the last person to be eliminated. Um, but obviously, Cody O'Ryan, former tag team champion, before he retired. Um, so. To see how this match will play out. <laughs> um, will be an interesting one to watch. And next up, Adrian Sarkozy once again. We want to pick up another victory. Weighing in at 210 pounds. So 210 pounds. So Adrian Sarkozy cannot, or he can use a submission, but it will not get him a victory. So obviously, the only way to go is Battle Royale top right. We have quite the contest coming up, and good luck to those who have to follow. Sarkozy in the ring. And you can see pointing that palm. I don't know what for, but like I said before. Um Royal Blood. So obviously that could be what he pointed to, the the blood through his palm, the royal blood.
next up. Are you ready? So next up, King Glemling. Weighing in at 205 pounds, the King of Oldschool, King. So King Glemlin, um, so King Glemlin obviously would want to pick up victory here. And definitely got a point to prove here after losing to ZTK in the num um, the match that will determine the number one contender. And that is later tonight, so um, obviously Jin Yuri will be watching closely. So, will it be ZTK? Will it be Jeff Wright? So, but to be I'm just going to skip through because the entrance have taken a bit, so, um... Um... Obviously... Who's up next, we'll just quickly say... I will get the screenshots, guys, I need... And then we'll continue on with this video and see the crowd. So... Tyler Harris. And from Hartford, Connecticut. So Tyler Harris, obviously at Time Money 2K, go follow him. Go follow all these stars. Um and his entrance is taking up quite a bit. Um so Sorry about this. I will just skip through. Should be about, I reckon, one more entrance. Three, four, five. Yeah, one more, maybe four more. Three more max, I think. Um, so. Kinda, maybe could be back after this if I decide to cut it out. Which I probably won't. But anyway. So I do not know who that one was either. Um... So, Noxley Heartache. Now, Francisco Johnson. Here we go. Guys, welcome back. If I did decide to cut out the entrances, that was because they were taken a bit. But welcome back if I didn't. If I did cut out the entrances, and if I didn't, well, here we go. And as you can see, Noxley Heartache got Francisco Johnson towards the ropes. Will Francisco Johnson be the first one eliminated? You can see Adrian Sarkozy, conspiracy on the ropes already, but back in Sarkozy and Zach Tyson squaring up against each other and a super kick to King Lemlin. Francisco makes it back in the ring. Conspiracy could be gone and conspiracy's gone. Big time slam. And face first goes Francisco Johnson and a kick to the midsection and a head bump by Noxley. And on the ropes, Aaron Noble will look to get his second elimination. Will he get his second elimination here? He just has to make sure he keeps it. And a, well, it looked like a one-winged angel by Zach Tyson, but Zach Tyson pulling King Glemlin into the middle of the ring. And a couple of right arms, right hands, left hands, an elbow brings down um, Adrian to one knee. And over the top, Fireman's carry. King Glenlin almost getting eliminated there. Ty Money just saving himself. And you can see Kick there connecting. What's this? King Glenlin with a suplex Samoan drop. No, gut buster. Will um, Adrian eliminate? No, he will not eliminate Aaron Nova. You can see who was that that was gone. I think, um, who is that? That is Noxley Heartache is eliminated. 
Um, and knee to the side, to the side of the gut. King Lemon could be going here. Francisco Jones go down the middle and elbow. Nice He's struggling a bit here. He can't be happy with how this is going right now. And he'll hit a big punch. A round and a backbreaker. King Glamlin's still in this matchup. Nasty drop. And a Russian leg sweep. We're just looking to get the elimination. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Just Will he get the elimination? You can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. Was this? When this guy's no, Aaron Nova saving himself. Was this? Got him around. Oh, Francisco Johnson face first goes Adrian. What was that? Was that like a DT? No, a suplex. Reverse suplex and Zach Tyson could be going here. What is this? Up. Oh. Going for an elimination. Francisco Johnson once again. And a big chop there. But Francisco Johnson saving himself. King Glenlin again on the ropes. What is this? A power bomb. Power bomb. King Glenlin. Things aren't looking good. And there goes King Glenlin. And I do not really want to watch a replay, so we will get back into these matchup video. Can't skip it. We're not going to skip this replay, guys, so enjoy the replay. Um, as you can see, Tyler Harris picking up the thing and went for a drop kick. Francisco Johnson, but whether he connected or not. Was this DDT by Aaron Nova? And a super kick gets rid of Francisco Johnson. What a strike. And left hand, right hand, I don't know. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. Adrian face first into that turnbuckle. Tyler Harris choking Adrian. Lead down to four. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room for error now. He's around and down. Left hand. And over and gets rid of Tyler Harris. Zach Tyson with an elimination. Could we see him possibly pick up another victory? Or will it come down to once again, Adrian? And no, Adrian's gone. And Aaron Nova taking advantage of the situation. Adrian's gone. Zach Tyson pulling down the ropes. What is this? Aaron Nova going for a kick to the face. Adrian on the outside cannot believe what just happened. You can see him watching on. Will Aaron Nova pick up the victory in a run here, a knee? Picking him up. No. Yes, speaking of that neck breaker. Will jar your spine. Is this a kick to the midsection? Here we go, a second. Is this got him around out of nowhere and just that DDT? If it doesn't end Zach Tyson. Might be time. Now all he has to do is get Aaron Nova over the top. And Nova's gone. Zach Tyson once again winning a number one contender battle royale. And you can see some of these highlights. Aaron Nova with that on the receiving end of that suplex. You can see that massive suplex. And the power bomb that got rid of King Lemlin. Kick the head of the baseball. And Aaron Nova that DDT. The friend um, Zach Tyson goes on to face William. Jackson, I'm sure William Jackson has something to say about this. Um, but Zach Tyson, for now, is your victor. And Zach Tyson picking up the victory, and what a victory this is. The second battle royale he's been in the number one contend match. And the second victory he has got. He's ruling these matches. Battle royale. 
is the home of Zap Tyson, you could say. Um, but up now, Jin Yuri takes on Conspiracy. There's a conspiracy here in EPW, guys, and we are about to find out how it will play out. Will Jin Yuri pick up the victory or will Conspiracy beat Jin Yuri? And can and pick up a win here in EPW. Um, well, we are about to find out when this matchup gets underway. And fours count anywhere matchup, guys. Obviously, it will be interesting to see what these can use. Obviously, Jin Yuri being a cruiserweight, be interesting to see what he will use to his how he will adapt, how both these men will adapt to the environment around them. Um. So, here we go. Jin Yuri. So the EPW Junior Champion. From Pretoria, South Africa, weighing in at 203 pounds, the ECW I think all agree that this fall so, champion. To be the EPW Junior Champion, Gene Yuri. You expand the footprint to go beyond the 20 by 20 ring. Um, Gene Yuri, the EPW Junior Champion. Again, the rain being defending it for a while. Um, the longest reigning cruiserweight champion here in EPW. So obviously facing like the likes of Oscar Elliott. He's faced guys like Ricky Saban. Many more. And conspiracy? Is this a conspiracy? I think this is. Because it sure certainly wouldn't be Jin Yuri again. So conspiracy once again. His opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at two hundred. So from Toronto, Canada. Cole Sierra C. Um. So we're up to our third match. We have after this the number one contender cruiserweight matchup between Jeff Wright and ZTK. And then David Diaz takes on Finn Sarkozy in a last man standing match. And then the main event, William Jackson takes on Alexander Benjamin. So obviously, be interesting to see how this match will play out. Um, So, here we go, one on one. Jin Yuri on the receiving end of the Spinebuster straight out of the gate into the pin. Will this be it? One. No, just a one count. Jin Yuri getting straight up into a chain in the grapple. Again, getting it from behind. Yuri, but again, another turnaround. And Adrian, I mean, not Adrian, Co conspiracy. Again, on those, again, Yuri now into a headlock. Some good old fashioned chain wrestling and then knee to the back. Going for a kick, but that kick catch connected by another kick to underneath the knee and it kicks the midsection. And reverse there and then ends the Guri. Going down with arm drag, conspiracy with a punch around the float over DDT, just planting Jin Yuri. And a kick to the head. What is this? Got him in the leg lock. Is he done? You can see, got him in the leg lock. Will he tap out? Will he tap out? 
no, Binley Mova, Ginyuri, not able to um, get Conspiracy to tap out, but an elbow, and face first, out of nowhere, face first, Conspiracy, with the pin one, and no, just a one count. I can tell you that, not yet, too early. Oh, nasty impact. Kick to the back. Ooh, another kick, another kick to the back. Oh. Now the kick, no, but a reversal and a kick underneath the knee of Conspiracy. What is this? Into the, as it always, will this be it? Jinyuri setting up with the round and a kick to the side of the face. Rolling him over. One, two, and a two count kick out. How did he kick out of that? That has put many opponents away. Jinyuri. I cannot believe that. But an round and that arm being dragged over his shoulder. What is this? Up on top of an electric chair. This is elbow and a kick. Followed up by a kick to the knee. Now that's a takedown. Oh boy, he was picking him up. But no, a knee to the face. He might have to. I'm not sure how much he has left. Round into a submission. Taking care of business. Will he be it? But now around again. And an elbow. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Gineary, the receiving end of a clothesline by conspiracy. Man, the force count anyway. Conspiracy taking some time to party around. Thank you for choosing to spend your Wednesday night. What is this? A suplex into a pin. Is that enough? One. And no, just a one count there. Stomp in the face. And knee, you're running knee to the side of the head. Is this a clothesline? Another clothesline. Or an elbow that time, but a reversal. A note. Kick. Jinyuri. What is this? Conspiracy. Plants him. Can he finish him off here? Plants Jinyuri. Will this be one, two, and a two count kick out? More than that to keep him down. And conspiracy getting a bit excited. You can see getting really hot. You can see just the strength of conspiracy is lifting him up straight off the ground into a military press. Face first, body first goes Jin Yuri. Into the corner. Conspiracy. He's straight up top. You are absolutely right, Michael. Into the trail low. The stomp brings down conspiracy, but yet Jin Yuri going up top, chucking risk to the win. He thinks he has it. One, two, and then two K kick out. Jin Yuri unable to put him away. Is this around? And a kick to the side of the face. Second time? Sure. Why not? He's got the shoulders. Will this be it? One, two, and a two count kick out. How do he do that? Um, close line. And that one drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. This is in face first. Conspiracy one, two, and two count kick out. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Conspiracy can't believe it. And stomp underneath that arm. Both these men will give it anything to pick up a victory. And again into that submission hold. And now a reversal again. And an elbow. The side of the face. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing. Now, first one, a kick to the midsection. 
Is this going away from that leg around? He goes the SOS. Nothing left. And a reversal. Oh, damn it. And a clothesline by Conspiracy. And on top, punch after punch after punch. And big elbow. Was this got him up? Knees draped over under. This is his opportunity to Will this be it? One, two, three. Conspiracy picks up the victory against Gene Yuri. That match deserves another. You can see some highlights here. You can see that SOS. Look at go. And the elbow there. Forget this. That. Beautiful spiral tap. Almost forgot about this one. And see that kick. So just kind of skimming through the highlights and conspiracy picks up his first victory here in EPW. Conspiracy picks up his first victory. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. And up now, Jeff Bright takes on ZTK to find out who will face Gene Yuri. Who will become the number one contender for Gene Yuri? So um, obviously Jeff Wright winning his match to go into the number one contender match along with ZTK also winning his match. Um, so be interesting to see how this will play out. Um, and obviously um, when this match loads, we will get underway with some cruiserweight action. Um, obviously, cruiserweight's always fun to watch. ZTK, new look. So 205 pounds. ZTK. So ZTK. Obviously, as you can see, two WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys. Ever since ZTK making his way to the ring. ZTK pointing out into the crowd and that sign there that says take the moat or that thing on his shirt there's writing on his shirt take the moment and he will look to take the moment here tonight he will take in the moment take in this number one contendership matchup and he will look to not only take the moment but take the victory Jeff Wright, number one contender. You can see behind that smoke. Jeff Wright, the man of that defeat of Francisco Johnson. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Jeff. So Jeff Wright. To start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. Um. So Jeff Wright will take on. Sorry about that. Jeff Wright will take on ZTK. 
right now. Here we go. And there's the bell. Anyway, and see him this is the type kick of there. You can show someone who's and underneath. And say, this is what WWE's with an um, suplex, sorry. And around with a Jeff Wright. He's planning down ZTK and ZTK with a reversal and dragon screw. But another reversal and another dragon screw. And a kick this time connecting. And an arm drag over the top. And just getting that arm and kick to the midsection. Another kick to the midsection. And a clothesline. Lariat. Stomp to the back. ZTK. With a suplex. And that arm, that leg connecting. What is this? Into a backdrop. You see the top of that knee connecting with the rope. And Jeff Wright rolling out of the ring. And a kick to the side of the head, or side of the leg. Going into the ring. And a right hand. Back in from the floor. Oh, and a kick to the midsection. I'm trying to pull that arm right out of the socket. ZTK receiving a boot to the face. Rolling out of the way and an elbow. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be over the arm drag and the clothesline by ZTK. And a kick. And a couple stomps. It looks like the shoulder and the neck. Men mouthing off Jeff right there. One and just the one count there. Not even close. Picking him up. Plans him. With a double leg takedown. Jeff Wright picking him up. With a clothesline. Takes down. ZTK. And an elbow. Picking him up. Over the top and gun for like a drop kick there, but missing wildly. Into a pin, ZTK looking to take advantage and just a one count. And a slap. The slap takes down on Jeff Wright. Again, kick, just stomp to the back. Another stomp to the back and a kick to the head. Got that arm bent. Grabbing that other arm. And see, pulling his hands back. But no. Stomp to the back of double knees. Here he goes. ZTK, what is this? Felt like a cloverleaf sharp shooter. Locked in. Will he get to the ropes? Will Jeff Wright get to the ropes? Wow, he got out of it. Yeah. I'm not no getting out of that one. And Jeff Wright with a drop kick. He slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. And elbow by Jeff Wright. You can see no arm pads there for either of these men, which makes all these elbows just that more damaging. And a super kick. Into a German suplex, calls that the Iceland keys. And this is the SOS. One, two, three. Jeff Wright goes on to face. Jim Yuri. Let's take another look at these guys in action. You can see some of the hearts oh, are stomped there. He's getting after it here. Um, into that straight jacket, German suplex, and the SOS. Jeff Wright. Picks up the victory. And on to our next matchup. In just a few short which is none other than David Diaz 
vs Finn Sarkozy. Last man standing, David Diaz, the California Rebel, um, looks to defeat the Prince um, Finn Sarkozy. And only one man can walk out of here. The other man will not be walking and getting up at all after this match is finished because this match is a last man standing match. So, obviously the point of the match, as everyone knows, is to get your opponent down um, for the 10 count. So obviously David Diaz, some moves he got there, but Finn Sarkozy, um, the I think the Italian brings the most... Okay, so Finn Sarkozy, if you don't know him, he's the most powerful family, he's the most powerful um, leader, he's the leader of the most powerful family in all of Europe. Um, so, yeah, it just kind of says all that, all about him in that one thing. Um, so, Italian blooded but British born. Um, and the king. Um, so, let's get this matchup underway. Um, David Diaz, California Rebel, making his way to the ring. David Diaz, obviously a part of the Mafia. Obviously him and Bandit were going at it in a live stream earlier this week. Um, obviously Bandit issuing a challenge to David Diaz and whatever promotion will book it. Um, so... Officially, you hear it right here, right now, David Diaz versus The Bandit. Fools count. No, it's not that fools count anywhere. I'll think of a cat, um, uh, match, um, stipulation, so, um, yeah. Um, Maybe a knockout match. So I've got to knock your opponent out. There's a blood between those two. Um, so, Finn Sarkozy making his debut. Um, so, was what? David Diaz. Versus, uh, will take on. Sorry, I'm just announcing that on EPW. Um, we'll take on the, King Fish, the Bandit. Um, so we are proud to announce it. Um, seconds away from our last man standing match. So happy to confirm it actually. But Finn Sarkozy making his way to the ring. Um, so obviously Italian blooded British born as you can see. An entrance only fit for a king. Um, the only entrance fit for the king. You can see this barrel of fireworks. David Diaz watches on. You can see fireworks still going. The entrance, this entrance is only fit for a king, as some would say, or as most would say. Um, Um, Both superstars coming to this matchup with a lot to prove. So obviously, an arm drag here. Now might be a good time oh, to man. do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over um, and over again. Into the collar. I'm sorry, guys. I'm into a lock up here. Into the ropes. Yeah, okay, the referee trying to break this one up. And the clean break here. David Diaz again into that arm. Got him in that headlock. David Diaz with the man strength, man power, but into an Irish whip. And underneath, and a reversal by David Diaz, the clothesline. And an elbow. And a 
corkscrew leg Dra dragon screw something like that um, and a kick to the back Finsakozi with a stomp the reversal David Diaz with a massive strength show of strength here and his work just the way he lifted him up Like a knee breaker, face breaker. Looked like it could break his nose there. And a running knee there. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. This could be this? an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. And a shooting star press. Permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Yeah. And a reversal into an electric chair. Mistake. Mark my word. Into German suplex. Well, not a suplex, but a. I don't know what to call that. But anyway, stomp, and stomp, stomp, stomp. Just multiple stomps. Just continuous stomps. Stomp to the arm. David Diaz picking up Adrian. A fin psychosis, but a reversal. Batista's legs together. Outside the ring. Reverie will count here. Byron, regarding that scene one. The match you mentioned, not only did the animal two, lose that night, two. It was also likely one of the most embarrassing moments. Three. Of, of course it was, Cole. Wouldn't you be embarrassed four, if you struggled to stand because your feet were taped together? Five. Six. Six. And the feet goes on. Seven. Seven count. David Diaz getting up at the count of seven. Finn he's still got a bit of work to do. You gotta believe this one's over. He looks a bit off his game here. Wow. But not for a second. And an elbow to, right to the heart. Now. One count by the reverie getting a clothesline. Reverie still trying to get that one. But David Diaz just not letting the reverie count any further than one. What is this? A suplex? No, a lariat? No, a Kick David Diaz. David Diaz is down. It's the way he fell there. That may just end the match here. Two, three, four, five. The referee halfway to the count of ten. Six, seven. The number seven. We kick to the mat. What is this? Got him into submission. Pulling on that arm, but obviously submissions don't do anything. And an elbow to that knee. It's no secret, guys, that the last and over the top tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of ten. And now going for a close line, but a reversal. Was this into a DDT? Again, referee starting the count. Vince like crazy looking to pick up the victory for the thing about the unique rules of this five. David Diaz may not make the count. Six, seven, and again, get another the count of seven. Last man at number seven, resulted in some unique the dragon skirt. One to pay per view sets and two. David Diaz can use his time to recover. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven. That's a count of eight here. Nine, getting up at the cannon on just beating that count. He might have it. What is this? Picking up that D as a round and final calling. Perfectly executed. This is all but over. Did you see one, the impact on two, Wow. Three. Three. Four. four five. five six. Six. Standing match. And you can see Frinzo crazy just standing over the, the body. And David Diaz in an eight count. Right to kick to the back. One, two, 
two count. Three. But unfortunately, only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. Get another get at the count of seven. David Dan's got another thing for number seven and cartwheel a running knee. Whenever he's done, the count again. Two. Three. Four. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the five. house era would have to be December. So up to the count of six, guys. Um, now seven. Will David Diaz hop up? Eight. Up to the count of eight. And David Diaz again hopping up. He keeps the midsection. What is this? Going for the pedigree. This is sure to be it. Now it's keep. Three, four. Both of these competitors have so much resolve. It's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them Six, down. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine. nine. Will this be it? David Diaz will not hop up. Finn Sarkozy will pick up the victory. Wow. Let's see some highlights. Um, so, Finn Sarkozy picks up the victory. Both of the Sarkozy brothers, the Sarkozy family, picks up all their victories here tonight. See, David Diaz still laying there, not able to get up. Um, so, on to our main event, William Jackson, Alexander Benjamin, obviously Zach Tyson watching on. Um, so, obviously Zach Tyson will be watching on. Then now that we know who the number one contender is, sure William Jackson will want to make an example out of Alexander Benjamin and show Zach Tyson what he is walking into. Um, so obviously walking into a dangerous matchup. Some might say, others might think otherwise. Um. So, yeah. Um, just kind of wait till this match loads. Um, but otherwise, like I said earlier in the video, make sure to check out my Emmy Vice Wrestling. Um, our partner, you can see. Maybe see how some of our stars over there, some of the stars, some of their stars over here. William Jackson. Making his way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Extreme Pro Wrestling Ultraviolet Champion. So the Extreme Pro Wrestling Ultraviolet Champion in the party train. William Jackson, the party train continues. He, I'm obviously also a part of the mafia. Travis Turner will be watching. Obviously, three no, two champions, uh, two cha three championships in the mafia. Um, and with this match right here, so. Um, William Jackson partying on. The party will continue way, I reckon, into the night if he picked up a victory here. You think you know me? And Alexander Benjamin. 
So Alexander Benjamin um, will look to pick up a victory. Um, so, sorry, the song's got me lost the track. Tempted to sing it, but you know. Um, so, as you can see that fiery in the background, Alexander Benjamin with the glowing sunglasses. Now, I have not seen glowing sunnies before. That is something fairly new. Um, Alexander Benjamin walking in, you know, sliding into the ring. Alexander Benjamin will look to pick up a victory. So, um, here we go. William Jackson, Alexander Benjamin, I'll be right back. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. And the tie-up, make no mistake about it. This is all about skill, determination, and power. So guys, I'm back, um, and as you've seen there, a suplex, and an uppercut, got William Jackson on the right side, come, kicks to the inside of the knee, takes down, takes down William Jackson. And double stomp to those knees, one, just a one count. Uppercut there. Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. Hooks it up. Oh. So guys, um, sorry about that. Just went a bit mind back there. Um, but on the ropes. Guys, the most important thing for William Jackson being dropped by Alexander Benjamin. Is that anything goes, and I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon. Sir. And twisting that arm straight around. There's a close line. With this around, brings down Alexander Benjamin William Jackson. Anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no jumping also means round and down. And there's nothing you can do about it. What a stop! Good grief! And dragging that arm. He's gonna have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Yeah, he's taking on some offense. William Jackson going up top. Especially considering Jackson. Jackson. high risk. I know it's early. And Alexander he's Benjamin gonna hop up. Not to let this get out of hand. Look at this. Going for the pin. One. one. Just a one camp. Too soon. Ooh, what impact. <sighs> sorry, I'm sorry for the yawning, but yeah, um, it's about the best time I can record. It's like late at night, so. He's making a statement here with this attack. Couple hands there and funk train, the funk train. Um, as you can see, he's got him covered. Into the pin, one, two, just a two count. He's not going to like this. What is this setting up? William Jackson. Here it comes, Michael. Around. Got that leg over the top and face first goes Alexander Benjamin. The ultraviolet champion looking to pick up victory. He goes for the cover. One, two, and just a two count. Gonna have to put in a little more work than that. So Alexander Benjamin got him in that submission hole. As you can see, look at the way that back is bent. 
I don't know why that back he's bent. Alexander Benjamin somehow getting out. And a shoulder block, running shoulder block. Did it up a cut. Fireman's carry. Doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree with Fireman's carry. Was this again? Just feel that. In the morning, the ropes. Jumping the barricade, spilling into the crowd. No, just Alexander Benjamin, I think, taking time to recover. Taking time to think this one through. Alexander Benjamin. Being carried in more into this crowd. Like I said, this can spill anywhere. He's going for an overhand punch, but no. William Jackson. And see, look at what we got here. Kendo sticks. Looks like a sledgehammer, a baseball bat, steel chair, equipment box, a trash can, and this table. Was this onto that equipment box? But no, again, it's been dragged around. Overcome this beating. Elbow to the midsection. Face first. All these weapons. Guys, he's really struggling right now. He's gonna need this fireman's carry. And a gut buster and go to sleep. Will this be it? One. Two. No, just a two count kick out. Alexander Benjamin cannot be believe this. To keep this guy down. Leg sweep. William Jackson. A couple elbows. Another elbow. could be over. And then you gotta dig down deep. Get rid of the and the knee to the midsection. Continue on toward victory. Another right hand, left hand. When this guy's on, look out. And he's just bringing him back into the crowd. Wants to keep this fight where it is. A couple elbows to the midsection. These men just can't figure out what they want to do. may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets. And an uppercut. Nice. Knee to the midsection. Alexander Benjamin on the receiving end of a knee to the midsection this time. And an uppercut. And a kick to the midsection back and forth. Here we go. <laughs> and an elbow. And another reversal. And another one back and forth, guys. And of course we go back. And now William Jackson again. He just laying multiple punches, side of the head, and back of the neck. Into that quitting box. Was this a knee to the midsection? And see all these weapons out here that they could possibly use to their advantage in a kick to the midsection. Another kick to the midsection. Down on one knee. A round and a swinging neck breaker. And a splash. One, two, and a two count kick out. Incredible, absolutely incredible. This might be it. Oh my. What's going to happen here? Going on top of the equipment box and going for a flying splash body thing. He might have it. Was this around in the knee to the face? This is his opportunity to win this thing. William Jackson just got no momentum here whatsoever. And another knee to the face. Will this be it? One, two, two count kick out. Again going up top of that equipment box. This time William Jackson hopping up. And connecting to the back of the neck. William Jackson with an overhand punch. What's this? What will he use here? 
don't know where he was going to try to tag him. Elbow. Put themselves through the intensity of this and a reversal. And into that equipment box. Face first. Face first once again. He's looking. You gotta believe this. He's just stomped to the back. And a leg drop. And there it is, boy. Will this be it? One. Two. The two count kick out. Again with that leg drop. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Again going for the pin. One. Two. Two count kick out. Guys, I'm surprised they haven't used any weapons. I got the weapons there to their advantage. They're using that equipment box. Going for a splash. Over the top and back first. Onto the concrete. Just wrecking the face. He's grabbing away at that face. Right hand. Another reversal. An elbow. And the headbutt to the back of that. Another headbutt. And now going for another headbutt. But William Jackson. On the second end of an elbow. The headbutt again. Another headbutt. And a punch. Nope. Going back the other way now. Nope. Now we're going back the other way, guys. And a headbutt again. And back and forth. Like always. And a headbutt. And a punch. Brings us virtually back to right where we started. I wouldn't have a clue where we want, where they want to take each other. Elbow. I can't believe this one's still elbows. Especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. Left hand. Another right hand. Oh, right hand. Both right hands. Elbow. Another elbow. What a strike. A striking Knee to the midsection. Forearm. A striking Kick to the midsection. Looking to... Don't know where he wants to take him. Take him to the loop like a bat to take him to that equipment box. Knee to the midsection. And an uppercut. And a right elbow. And punch. And knee to the midsection. Sends William Jackson back the other way, but an uppercut. Nobody controls the pace of a match. And an elbow to the midsection. Double right hands. And uppercut. Back and forth. Got the reversal. Again, another uppercut. Another punch. And another uppercut. Guys, but these men's jaws will be sore after this. And an elbow. Overhead punch and an elbow and forearm. And punch again. Reversal. And another reversal. William Jackson just locked, swung a blind elbow there. An uppercut. Going for a kick to the midsection. Ooh, Jackson with a knee to the midsection. What do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self doubt. And an elbow. He's just going for a suplex. Vertical suplex. Nice. Grabbing that arm. Over and around. Me. 
right hand, left hand, I don't know. Nothing cut. It's one and blind elbow and connected there. Again. I don't know where we are going, but elbow. Back down through the crowd. This force can't anywhere match. Another elbow. Overhand punch. And another punch. And another knee to the midsection. And a headbutt. And another headbutt. Sends him back over the ring. We are back out to the outside. This under the announce table. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Face first into that announce table. Back in from the floor. Into the ring. Alexander Benjamin. Face first. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. William Jackson. Once again, still always got time to party. He's going for the, going for the win. One, two, two and, and just a two cap. He's still in this. Here comes Michael. Has this got him up? Spins him around face first. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Both of these men cut open. One, two. Three in what is a hard fought matchup. William Jackson picks up the victory. So, as you can see, some highlights here. You can see that knee where he got cut open. And right here is where he, um, Alexander Benjamin got cut open. So Will and Jackson picking up the victory. Thank you for watching. Um, and that's also.